Asama dudes. <laughs> um, okay, so super excited. This is another video. So today we are going to do a makeup thing. I'm not going to call it tutorial because if you clicked here expecting me to teach you how to put on makeup, girl, you fucked up. Oh boy, I don't, I don't judge. Because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. But um, so with my whole gap year thing, I've been doing a lot of creative things. And a few weeks ago, I did a little photo shoot thing with my boy Philip. And I basically had on this very pink Igari kind of like Harajuku-ish inspired makeup. But basically I just like looked at all the pink um, makeup that I had in my drawer and I was like, how can I use all of this? And then that's what I did. I just put a lot of pink on my face. So yeah, watch me uh, try to recreate that. What you want to do is moisturize your face and your lips. I already did that. And also put on your contacts first. I'm using Polar Lights Brown and holy crap, like it took me so long to get this video started because I actually bought a mic now. So I'm hoping the audio will be better. And I'm like, whoa, is this what it feels like to put actual effort into a video? Fuck. All right, so now I have contacts in. And yeah, as you can see, I haven't slept since the womb because my brother won't stop grinding his damn teeth. But it's okay because my personality is cute. <laughs> and it would also be nice if I had eyebrows. But speaking of eyebrows, I've actually like shaved off or like I've plucked off half of it below here because I wanted to increase this lid space without getting plastic surgery, which is why they look very thin. But it's all part of the plan. Now you get some primer, put some over here. I'm gonna conceal first and then conceal more because you want it to be very geisha-like. Using my Fenty Beauty, just dot it. And then wet your beauty blender. This is already damp, so. Okay, so we're finally done with that. Now we're gonna do a bit more concealing. After this, you probably wanna be a little bit more heavy duty on the eyes if you do have dark circles like me. So we're gonna just powder. So last time it took me um, like two hours to do this makeup, but I was taking my time. But I don't wanna take my time today cause I wanna do things. So let's see how fast we can do this makeup while also keeping it good. Now you want to go into the bronzing and whatnot. I use this bronzer, warm toned, and then I contour with Hula. And it's a cool tone. So the shadows, you know, just put a little bit on here. We're going to chisel our face out. Concentrating on this end here and then working your way down to your mouth. I guess while we're here, I can just tell you a few more things that have been happening. <laughs> Actually, with the with my last video about um, not getting to med and stuff, I got a lot of really, really positive feedback and I was like not expecting it at all. I got a lot of people messaging me privately saying, um, you know, their side of their struggles and telling me that um, and thanking me actually that for making the video because they felt less alone and yeah like so many good things are already happening and although it seems like um, the year's going by really fast already I've already done so much um, that I would have never been able to do beforehand so I'm really happy <laughs> despite how confu confusing and scary and unstable um, this year sometimes feels I think ultimately it's been really healing. Okay, so uh, back to like trying to be a makeup guru or whatever. <laughs> um, I did put the bronzer and the contour on and now you wanna like blend them together. I should definitely use a clean brush, but. Oh shit, it's dark, hey. Ah, yikes. Um, all right, it looks whack now, but hopefully with all the other makeup that I'm about to put on, and I'm kind of going to ruin it with the blush anyway, it will be okay. So, I don't like that I don't have eyebrows, 
So I'm gonna put eyebrows on. All right, nobody talk, nobody talk. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Um, so great news, my camera just totally stopped filming when I did the most important part, which was the pink makeup. <sighs> so what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to wipe off this bit and do it again. All right, we are back. Now I have to repeat all the jokes again. Oh, it was like so funny and you guys just missed out. I don't remember my jokes anymore. <laughs> it's meant to come out naturally, not like this. <laughs> there is definitely powder in that tea. <laughs> but I mean, that just means I'm beautiful on the inside as well. Because you are what you eat. And I am loose, translucent, loose face powder by Airspun. All right, so how I do this little blush thing I use this lip liqueur, whatever thing. You can use whatever lipstick you want. I did it because I will never use this on my lips. <laughs> I'ma be real. Thanks for the gift, Annie, but I'm not gonna use it. But I didn't wanna waste it. So I found that doing it like this is actually very pigmented and very easy to blend out. Works really well and ye all of the above. So I just put a bit along my eye and I blend it down to where I did all the bronzing and things like that. Blend it to your temples, your back, your crack. And also I wanna go to my nose. So it looks like I have like, I don't know, an allergic reaction or something. We're gonna get right into the eye eye makeup. Got this pink thing. Just gonna put that on top of the little bit of pink that we already have. This is just gonna help it like set in a bit more so then we can put other stuff on top of it. And your girl's already sounding like a makeup guru. Oh my God. And I actually have a camera now, so holy shit, I can, I can, I can do this thing. Like, is it focusing? Look at that. How far we have come. Oh my God. I'm legitimately repeating all the jokes that I said before. <sighs> Cause it took me a long time to think of them. So I'm going to use them. All right. So I have this Coastal Sense palette, lots of colors that I have never used in my entire life, but now, now I can use them. So I'm going to use like these, these three colors there. This one's gonna be for like the darker bits and then this is for like, I don't know. Figure it out yourself. <laughs> this is a great tutorial. <laughs> All right, so with a small brush like this, just gonna dip it into the little pinky tones. Put it on the little corner of my eyeball. Spread it out a little bit, maybe down to the bottom a little bit so it connects and I can see how far to bring it. And then with wind screen wipe emotions, you're just gonna keep blending until you feel like you've blended enough. Like you are going to question yourself and ask your heart and your spirit, have I blended this enough? The answer is no, keep blending. Now I can go into that purple and add in a little bit more depth because it is a darker color. And like, I'm a makeup guru, so I use words like that. Now I'll just use a little fluffy brush to blend out any harsh lines. I've removed a bit too much of my eyeshadow, so I'm gonna put it back on. <laughs> use that purple again. Put it down here. All right, so now we want a bit more sparkle sparkle. Um, I'm gonna take my Lorac palette and I will use this gold thing combined with this other palette. And that's a really nice pinky shade there and a nice orangey shade there. So 
Just gonna dip my brush in all three of those and uh, hope for the best. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely like this color combo. I have a bit of black on this, but just take like a dark brown and line your bottom a bit. Take a bit more purple as well if you want. Yar. Okay, so we're gonna top line our eyes. So go under and also on top. Just added a bit of eyeliner, winged it out a little bit. We did forget one little important thing. I mean, didn't forget it, but saved it till the last minute. We're gonna do some highlighting. So I originally used a very light, the Mary Luminizer, but because of the pink, it's a bit too light. So I'm gonna mix it with that pinky glittery eyeshadow. Now we're gonna use actual blush. Just get whatever you want and go on top of your work. Put some mascara on. All right, so I've just quickly curled my hair randomly. It's not fully curled because I can't be stuffed damaging my entire hair. So taking some wispy ass eyelashes, just get whatever you want. Gonna put some eyelash glue on it. Get the really long ones, stick to on the bottom. St stop sticking to my thing, you butt. Take this thing, some nude lip, and just press it on. So using that same thing that we had at the start, kind of ombre it out. So basically with the flowers, you just want to roll it up into a little, little log of sticky tape. Put it on the back of your flowers. I just got, just bought some random flowers from like two dollar store, and I just ripped them off the branch. And stick it on. All right, that's it. That ends my tutorial. Um, hope you guys learned something. Probably did it because I can't teach because I don't know what I'm doing. And now you can start posing with random flowers and things. Like I have a pot plant here. Hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Here's my montage of me posing. <laughs>